Now, from our High Definition Studios, this is Local Edition. Hello and thanks for watching this Local Edition. I'm Eric Wotilla. The Misaki Conservation District, located in Lake City, maintains a foot trail open to area residents. Recently, that trail received some new improvements thanks to the help of a group of volunteers. Benjamin Ari explains. Eric, the United States Air Force recently stepped up to volunteer some of their time improving area nature trails for residents to enjoy. Well, we as recruiters get together on a quarterly basis. We all come from all over the state and we get together for training meetings. Part of the things that we do during those meetings are community volunteer events, such as the one here where we're doing the area cleanup for the trails in Misaki County. While the U.S. Air Force has responsibilities all over the world, area members are trying to keep the local community in mind. As part of the Air Force, you know, we like to give back from all the communities that we came from. Being born and raised in Cadillac, I understand that, you know, the area needs volunteers like this to help improve the hiking trails and natural environment we came from. The Masaki Conservation District took the initiative in getting the project started. We just heard through the grapevine that um, there was going to be a quarterly meeting in Cadillac and they were looking for a place that they could volunteer an afternoon and so Sherry Blazak phoned them and they were more than happy to come out and help us with the foot trail. And the extra military muscle has worked out well. It's been wonderful. The big help, things are getting done really fast and they're having a lot of fun while they're doing it. So, It is great weather for it, uh, sunshiny and bright, a uh, little humid but we're all sticking it through and we're getting a lot of work done. Overall, a lot has been accomplished. What you see here, they're reinforcing the fences, uh, putting up some lattice work uh, to help keep the attention focused on what's being taught. Also around the trails, we've got uh, benches that we're putting together and anchoring in place. And we also have markers up along the trail that we put up maps on so that people can find their way back to the station here. In the end, the work comes down to improving something for the community to enjoy. It's, it's high maintenance, but it's well worth it if, if people come out and enjoy it, and we've had a lot of very good responses this year. Now, the Conservation District is always interested in volunteers to help with improvement projects. For more information, you can call 839-7193. I'm Benjamin RA4, Local Edition. Now back to you, Eric. Well, thanks, Benjamin. Coming up next on Local Edition, a look at how a local volunteer group is helping to fund an area hospital. Stay with us. Once they've outgrown their toddler seat, they're still not ready for adult safety belts alone. Four foot nine is the magic number. Until then, kids need a booster seat. Make sure your little pumpkin gets there safely. Visit BoosterSeat.gov. And welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Eric Wotilla. $55,000. That's the amount of money a local volunteer group raised to help a hospital in Cadillac. Mercy Hospital Volunteer Services, a group which has been supporting Cadillac's Mercy Hospital since 1930, has been holding numerous fundraisers throughout the year. The group's goal is to help raise money so the hospital can purchase life-saving equipment. This year, they raised enough money to fund the purchase of a glidoscope, the instrument will assist in the placement of a breathing tube and cost $10,000. The remaining $45,000 raised by the Volunteer Services Group will be used to help fund patient care, with specifics to be determined. Well, that does wrap up this local edition. I'm Eric Wotilla. Thanks for watching. <laughs>